What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to the road to glory. Oh, how I've missed a standard daily road to glory and we are back with it for the start of FC24 today. We're going to take you through what the plan is for today or for the series actually and um, hope that EA can deliver through on how good evolutions can be. We've done a lot of road to glories over the years Poor Man Road to Glory, first owner Road to Glories. Um, th there's been there's been a few. Um, <laughs> I can't think of any other ones uh, that have been like long form and like kind of daily updates on the content and how it's going. And today for this season for this series, what we plan to do is an Arsenal only Evo Road to Glory. It is going to be first owned players only for the Arsenal players. We could do a first owned in general, but we're not going to. First owner, Arsenal players only. We're going to get all of the men and all of the women, and we're going to Evo them up every time there's an Evo available throughout the course of the whole game cycle. Now, of course, if the game cycle turns out to be um, too, too easy again, which has been the problem over the last couple of years, you know, like from, from probably like FIFA 21 through FIFA 23. Let's take pop, seven games on pop. Probably from FIFA 21 through FIFA 23. It's just been so easy to get to like a really good standard. And it seems like it's the same this year. You know, you can get an 80 by 10 for just three games. You can get a whole bunch, like 1.5, 1.6 million coins worth of packs from just a couple of hours of gameplay as well and, and menu grinding and stuff. Like it, it just, it's ridiculously easy to get a good team. So the plan this year is to just make sure we get every best version of every Arsenal player and work really hard to do that. So what, what might end up transpiring from the back of that? is not for the first few weeks for sure um let me go with that chelsea kit it's quite nice oh i do like that wies baden kit um not for the first few weeks for sure but maybe as time goes on it might just we might not be daily uploading right um we are going to take the psg badge it's an expensive one and the reason for that is because I started uploading for the sake of uploading with the old Road to Glories last year and the year before. And then I started having way more fun giving you guys like the timed Road to Glories, the themed Road to Glories and things like that. So for this RTG, you're going to join me on my journey at least for the first two or three months of playing this game every single day. We are going to have a new upload time, as you could probably tell by now, of 10 a.m. That's right, 10 a.m a.m. Um, so every day, 10 a.m., the Road to Glory is going to be here. If you liked the 10 p.m. uploads, you can still watch it at 10 p.m. It's fine. Just it's going to be there from 10 a.m. You can watch it from 10 p.m. And uh, we're going to try and incorporate a little bit of everything again um, back into the series. Now, as I say, it is going to be an Arsenal-only Evo first owner Road to Glory, which is a bit of a mouthful. So we're just going to call it a first owner Road to Glory um, or maybe just a Arsenal Evolution Road to Glory. And uh, yeah, there's there's a lot to decipher and a lot to discover because obviously we've got the Mad Ready. Why is it taking me to here straight away? We've got the Mad Ready promo that is coming in four hours from now when I'm starting the recording of this video. So any packs that I can get today, I don't want to open yet. Um, but I also kind of need to build a team together because Foot Champs already starts next week. Next weekend, Foot Champs is here. So we really want to make sure we're ready for Foot Champs and that we can get our our rivals games in, get up as high as possible for those first rivals rewards. You know, it would be nice if we could make it to Division 1 uh, at least. We're going to take that Vinny J for a loan there. Yeah, if we could at least get up to Division 1 for the rewards would be great. And uh, we already got Pop Loan, didn't we? I'm going to take her again, actually. No, no, no. No, I'm going to take her because we want the rating. Uh, the rating is going to be important for some of the mastery milestones. But there you go. We've got Holland, Vinny J and Kerr straight off the jump. Um, and we've got ourselves the FC Founders pack. Now, this pack's just so valuable because if you put this kit and badge on and play three games, you just get yourself uh, some some really, really nice rewards straight away. Like I say, the 80 by 10. But I'm going to save it for Mad Ready. So we've got all of this cool stuff. Uh, straight away and we got the fc founders evolution now on an account i used to make some content for earlier i did kai havertz with that founders evolution there's not too many players that are eligible for it from arsenal but kai havertz is one of them and of course we've got to be careful with how we upgrade who we upgrade um because a wambasaka um 
because you don't want to like use a, an Evo that could be real fun and waste it on someone just for the sake of using it. But also you don't want to not use them. You want to Evo your players up as quick as possible. And so with regards to the FIFA points, which is I know something that I'm going to get asked about a lot. What are we going to do with our FC points, right? We've got 4,600 of them because of course we purchased the... Um, we purchased the Ultimate Edition. And so I have, for me personally, a couple of basic rules I'm going to abide by with my FIFA points in the early stages. Once we've got lots of coins flowing, not going to care about what we do with the FIFA points. But because some evolutions, including a good evolution for Emil Smith Row by the way of Relentless Winger, are either 50,000 coins or 1,000 FIFA points. This is something that I'm going to be using my FIFA points on if I can't get the coin balance. So obviously we've got a long time. This is 17 days before this expires. So for us to get 50,000 coins over 17 days is not going to be difficult. However, if there's a an Evo that comes out where it's either, I need this Evo right now, like I really want to upgrade my player instantly, or where it's a situation where it's like, you know, potentially 2,000 FIFA points and 100,000 coins. And it's like, do we really want to spend 100,000 coins on a small upgrade for an Arsenal player? We'll use the FIFA points then. However, if we eventually get to a point where we've just got a whole bunch of coins, I still want to save some FIFA points because last year we got things like that kit that was like 150 point FIFA points that gave like massive XP boost. And I'm slightly curious to wonder and understand if EA are going to give us Evos that are just FIFA point requirements and not coin requirements. So we will make sure we keep the FIFA points for as long as we can until we get a true understanding of the game. But we have got some Evos straight off the jump to work with. And the Golden Glow Up, I think there's one Arsenal bronze that we can put into this. It's not the best. It is a, it is a female, which I don't mind. First of all, it's going to be hard to, uh, to pack her. Because uh, we're going to have to obviously spam bronze packs to get her. But it's a defender. Where's my concepts? Oh, come on, EA. It's a defender, a centre-back, that has a midfield as an alternate position. So it's Goldie. And Goldie's terrible for the Evo because she's two-star, three-star, and her stats in general are utterly, utterly atrocious. However... Unless we get some transferred cards in before the transfers are there, because we've still got Pepe, and Pepe somebody I want to get before um, before he like goes out of packs as an Arsenal player, because he doesn't belong in packs as an Arsenal player, but he's there. But she has sent him in as an alternate position. So unless we get some transfers in in the early days, Goldie is going to have to be our golden glow up, um, which is fine, right? That's that you know, like I said, we'll we'll use all the evos where we can, but that's where it's at. So. In terms of this road to glory, as I say, the, the primary objective is to pack as many of the Arsenal players as we can first owner, all of the Arsenal players as we can first owner, use them, abuse them, treat them well, and get them into rivals and champs and get ourselves rewards. And as often as I can, obviously I'm not going to hurt myself like massively, like I'm not going to play some random, like I'm not going to play Zinchenko at left back, for example, because he's just too slow, right? But we have got, oh God, every every menu we open is going to be a, uh, a monster amount of nonsense, isn't it? We have got a lot of very usable players in the early game. And I tell you what, again, I've been playing a bit already, but Erdegaard's super use usable. Two-star weak foot sucks. Saka, man, he, we're going to use him, but he's so disappointing in this game. Three-star, three-star with only two play styles. Thomas Party's real nice. I haven't used Declan Rice yet. I haven't used Martinelli or Gabriel, but even this Gabriel card, a Shadow Chem style on him... He's just going to be good enough for us for a while, at least for like a month or two. And by then, hopefully, we've got some other cards. Ramsdale, Gabriel Jesus is a beast. Saliba looks to be a beast. Jorginho is actually very good in this game. I know he's got no pace, but he's very good in the game. So we've got a lot of usable, useful Arsenal cards. But like, we're not going to use Zinchenko at... Um, how does he not have CDM as an alternative position? At left back, we're just not going to. So if that's where we're like, unless we can Evo him up somehow, we'll just use somebody else, right? We don't have another left back other than Tommy Asu as well, and he's not very good either. Um, so we'll use somebody else. So also on the other side of things is 
What are we going to do outside of the Arsenal team? Because it's not just going to be the Arsenal team that we play with. We are still going to build fun squads. We're going to try and make sure we have a lot of good uh, times on this game. We're not going to try and rush through everything straight away. But with that being said, there's a lot of objectives that are really easy to complete that will give us a lot of really good packs, uh, especially the 5,000 XP for the 80 plus times 10 rare gold pack. But... I don't really want to be going into rivals with the team that I've got right now to get this because that would just be pain. The seasonal stuff is here as well, which is great. We've got the FC founder stuff, which gives you all the XP to get to that level five. But because we have got the mad ready uh, objective slash um, promo tonight at six, well, yes, like started last night by the time you're watching this, that's what I'm going to be grinding for and saving packs for. So I'm going to go ahead and grind the game a whole bunch i've already showed you guys over on the main channel how to grind the early stages of the game but in short we're going to do the fc founder content we're going to do the milestone content as it comes i'm not going to force the milestone content um may, maybe i'll force the bronze and silver squad masteries because i don't well maybe the silvers will get through the bronzes we probably won't but i'm not going to sit there and like play against ai for three hours to get finishing and assist mastery completed because they will just come naturally as it comes i'm happy with that First own mastery will come naturally as well. Same as evolutions. But leagues, we're going to have to like not focus, focus on. But there's another 100k pack eligible here. So we might work on that a little bit today as well to try and get some stuff. And I am going to go ahead and do as much of the foundations content as possible right now to just uh, polish all of that off. So let me go and work on all of this stuff right here. And I will be right back. As we're going through the first starter SBCs, guys. <clears throat> first of all, I've hit Alvaro. A uh, Real Madrid bronze. Uh, it's a shame it's untradeable because he'd probably sell for about 1,500 coins. But we've actually hit a 250 coin unlock, which is amazing. And whilst I was doing this, I thought, you know what? I want to show you guys my method at the start in terms of actually completing these SBCs. And I know they're just easy SBCs, the foundations. But what I've been doing is... In the first ones, you just need common bronzes. No chemistry, no positions or anything. So just make sure you don't use like a priority nation for the so that you can save those for the ones that you do need. So as you can see here, I've already got six English bronzes here now. I've got two Germans as well. So we'll use Bassi in here because, of course, you know, it, Norwegian bronzes aren't really going to be too, uh, too valuable to us. We'll use Chen Wei. Uh, we'll save Morris because that's another bronze now. Um, we'll use Walid and we'll use, see that I've got two more English players there again, which is great. And we'll use Ling. Um, so it's just a good way. So first of all, obviously to help complete these SBCs nice and cheap, but second of all, to help complete the other foundations ones that require a little bit more chemistry, you're going to have a whole bunch of English players to put together to actually get the chem that you need in there. Now we get a two players pack out of that, which is quite nice. We've completed an objective group as well, apparently which is uh, quite nice. I've, I've done a fair bit. And isn't it nice, guys? The claim all. Isn't it just beautiful? Rewards claimed, 100 coins, a training item, which is Catalyst, which is going to help us with the next little bit. We've got some club maintenance. And I'm going to like run through all of this. You guys, like, I used to, like, episode one used to focus heavily on this kind of, like, small maintenance side of things. But honestly, the truth is, this is such boring content. Like, it used to be valuable. It used to have importance. It just doesn't anymore. And so I'm not really going to show it anymore. We're up to four packs in store, however, which is quite nice. And of course, a trick that you guys need. See this small mix customization pack. So long as you've got a preview pack open, when you're on the My Packs tab, go to the pack that you want, double tap LB and then press A or L1 and X. And you don't have to watch the silly animation, guys. It's just gone which, of course, is brilliant. Um, so we have got a two-players pack. Now, we will open the two-players pack right here because it's only one gold. This is really nice. Seven silvers out of that pack is brilliant. And I, I don't know if I'm going to stick to it. Oh, that's Jackpot C, baby. That's a bronze pack. All right. All right, Bronze Pack Method is about to already start. That is genuinely Jackpot City. What I was going to say, though, guys, I'm going to try my best to just not keep kits and badges because I just don't care. Like, they always clog up the club, and it makes me feel... Like, it gives me anxiety. I know it's a weird one, but gives me a bit of anxiety. We're up to 1,300 coins already, guys, and we get... Oh, Jacobson. That's a really good card. Three-star, three-star only. But that's a reasonable gold to put into the team and then a silver there. But we are now well on our way. Classic packs. Bronze pack. 
We should be able to get two straight off the bat with the discards. Of course, we don't care what it is. And everything is now sellable, right? So, Bovenik, Rare Bronze. Yeah, maybe like 200. Oh, yeah, he's definitely like 200. That's nice. Maybe even 300 for a Rare Bronze. That's good. Carboni, I guess, is uh, sort of the same. Oh, because he's Argentinian. Yeah, he, he's going to be like 400, 450. Oh, it's beautiful. Guys, the BPM is already here. And then a bronze Korean. I'd be surprised if he goes for more than 200, but he will go for 200. Um, an Engl oh, sorry, a Northern Irish manager. So he probably won't sell. So we'll hold him for now. And then the contracts, we're going to have to wait and see if these sell, right? It's one of those things that maybe over time they will sell, maybe they won't. Uh, and then we'll discard all of this. Man City Stadium theme is a no-go. And did we get enough back? I don't think. I think we're like five coins short, aren't we? Oh, we sold something already. How about that? We're up to 885. And so something Insta sold, which is mad. Uh, if we can get that Arsenal bronze here, that'd be even madder. So we've got Grabovo, another manager that we'll keep hold of for the time being. Oh, I wonder if it's the rare contract that sold. I know they tend to sell a little bit more. Oh, they, they, they might only be 200, 200 coins as well. Manager contracts are the ones that usually sell for a little bit as well straight away. So we'll get rid of all of this stuff here. And then these guys, no rare gold players in this one, unfortunately. So it's just going to be 200 for him. Now an English player. Yeah, he's got 150 on bid already. So I, th I think these guys are just going to be 200. So they will eventually sell. And our coin balance is now already rocking. And we've got 200 coins from the discards. What sold? I'm curious. I'm curious. Search the transfer market. No, I don't want to search. Oof. Get, getting used to these menus is a bit tricky, guys. Was it a bronze? There you go. Two, two sold. Bovenik. Oh, we're going to get the load in now. Um, and Kang Hyun G. Both sold. Superb. Superb. Oh, clearing, clearing the items is R2 now. And uh, with that, we've completed another bunch of objectives. I'm not going to claim the objectives until I come back, guys. So let me just go and grind through a whole bunch more. And I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. We have done squad maintenance. And we're going to claim all of these bad boys all at once, uh, which is so nice. Bronze pack of premium bronze pack, 350 coins. I've been buying and selling some things as well to complete some other bits and bobs. So I've got a lot on the trade pile. As you can see, I also need to buy a new kit. And then we've also completed this one. And I've been buying, like, I've been trying to buy kits and badges, basically, from... Um, the Premier League and hoping that they'll be the easier ones to sell on but in itself they're a bit more expensive so I think I'm just gonna have to like bank on trying to find a kit that's just quite nice oh there's actually no wow guys it seems it seems like there's zero kits wow so if you pack a kit, they are at minimum, oh, there was one for 450 there, like 400, 500 coins. I, I, I guess people are like trading with them. That's amazing because that, that, did I even store, I might have even discarded some kits from Bronze Pack Method. Well, there you have it. Let's go and open our, uh, our stuff. We'll claim everything that we can claim from here because now we've got enough coins to actually open, almost open a bronze pack, but we've got a few other bits and bobs we can get. We've got another objective done. What did I do? Still haven't got anything done there. So we've got weekly objective done of list two players. That's just for a bit of XP, which obviously is a bit, uh, bit useless right now. We have sold two more items, which is quite nice. What was it? The healing card. I bought it for 200 as well, which is nice, and the rare player. And it's going to be that situation where over time, eventually all of this will start selling. So I bought the Bournemouth badge, I bought the manager from the Premier League. I bought Mangala from the Premier League. We've now got enough coins, which is perfect for another bronze pack. And we're going to open the packs that we've got first. And this is just like, like I say, this is like the boring stuff, right? This is a thing that is just a bit painful. Um, it's just one of those things that you've kind of got to do to efficiently run your club. But what you really want to do is go ahead and start like grinding the game out. We will have a game in today. I don't know uh, what kind of team we're going to put together for it. Might use the loans and stuff just to get that first game underway because I do want to get that 80 plus by 10 ready for 6 p.m. In the meantime, we'll do as much as we can. Ooh, he looks pretty fun. That's the second Brazilian manager I've got. I think EA fixed that this year. I've already I, I, I packed a male Brazilian manager. 
um, in one of the other packs that I did out of the foundations, which was quite cool. Um, right, so we've got a Jumbo Bronze Pack, a Premium Loan Reward Player Pack. Come on, give us another big one. Jonathan Dabd. Oh, fantastic. We've got two more golds in there and gold stadium base color. I will keep that because I do like the, uh, the gold. Um, we've got a Jumbo Bronze Pack and a two rare gold players pack. Now, I'm not going to save everything for... Uh, for save everything for what for 6 p.m we're going to open some stuff as we go but of course a lot of stuff is uh, the, the big packs are going to get sold i'm just looking in case we pack that arsenal bronze because i just really want it and that leaves us guys with a two rare gold players pack ea hook us up off the jump wait oh shakiri no wait oh it's going to be a woman isn't it 82 rated Kurno Gorsevich. Kurno Gorsevich. Kurno Gorsevich. Brilliant. Perfect. There's another woman that we've got in the uh, team. We've got Konsa as well, which is a nice one to get. Um, he'll go as an Englishman into the team and be good for chemistry. But we've now got enough coins for this bronze pack. And I didn't realize the kits are selling for so much. So if we do get a kit, we're obviously going to list up everything. Contracts... Perhaps maybe I'm not like too, too interested in because even the golds were there for like so cheap. But yeah, we didn't even get a kit or a badge in there, which is a bit of pain. Since we've got 100 trade pile spaces, though, we'll absolutely just throw up as much as we can into the trade pile. Italy to England four. And then the rare players, depending on uh, who they are. Oh, actually, let's check English centre backs. Yeah, I'm glad I did. So he, he might be like 300 coins rather than 200 coins. Because people are just lazy and so they just buy the easiest, lowest common denominator. Bronze strikers are insta selling for 200 coins by looks of things, which is quite nice. And then a rare left wing back, so he's, I will be lucky if he even sells. But there you go. So that's a few, a few more bits uh, done and dusted. So let me carry on working and I will be right back. All right, after doing 10 stars in moments. Uh, which we needed, even though we only needed to do one of these. We have finished foundation moments, which nets us some consumables, 450 coins and a premium silver pack, which is quite nice. Some uh, chem styles, which are going to eventually be very handy. Um, we've also completed club maintenance now. I bought the new kit. Uh, I bought the Barcelona kit for 600 coins, and I think it already sold for the 700 that I relisted it for. And so now we've got to do World Tour... Uh, which is going to be what it will be. Um, we're going to have to be a little bit of effort for that. FC competitor, play three online, five online. So this we can't do straight away. This is just going to have to happen over time. We can do the foundations four objective, not a problem, and build 31 chem, not a problem. Uh, team warm up, build 27 chem, play squad battles, five, any friendlies match, complete beginner milestones, and foundations three uh, and then player development play play with evolutions cards so we need to get our first arsenal player to evolve those players what is the beginner milestones oh the moments okay that that'd be easy but in the meantime guys uh we have done another objective somewhere must be in uh milestones or season seasonal i guess weekly objective we've got three moment stars lovely so we're up to 1731 coins which is genuinely really nice five items of sold most of it is stuff that i've bought that's then for resold we have got a couple of uh cheeky little packs right here again nice nothing nothing too crazy there go on give me another coin unlock why not it didn't and uh now i'm, I'm kind of genuinely a little bit uh intent before we go and do some SBCs and stuff and, and start the foundations and whatnot. I'm intent to just start like growing my coins, to be honest, because if bronze pack method, if kits are selling for like five or six hundred, probably badges the same. I genuinely think bronze pack method right now could be outrageously good. Even just to get us up to like 10, 15, 20,000 coins could be really, really nice, of course. See, now, Cork City badge, I think this is going to sell. There's none on the market. I don't know if badges are bugged. Let me just list it up for let's list it up for 300, and we'll see if it sells instantly. And if it does, then we've made a grave mistake. There's another badge, but it's going to be the kits that sell the most. Um, contracts, I'm not sure on just yet either, because I just think there's probably too many on the market already. So I'm just going to store the contracts for now, and if they start selling... Oh, he's at 850. We're going to save him. If they start selling, I'll go and list up the ones that I've got. And if they don't sell, then great. But if we're like 
Okay, I, I actually think those badges sold straight away. Or if they did, or even if one of them did. Barcelona kit sold. Oh, okay, so it's players and the bronze manager. But either way, bronze pack method is here already, guys. And I know it's boring, right? But straight away, it's that situation of if we want 50,000 coins for that Evo, if we want to pack these Arsenal players, we're going to have to put the effort in and, and, you know, do the boring things over and over. And because I didn't do much of it last year, I'm ready for it this year. I am ready for it this year. We get manager, contracts, stadium themes, and a Tifo. Tif not a Tifo, a Tifo. And these ones don't sell. Um, manager contract, I think, will probably be a little bit more expensive because there's less of them. The manager, I will list the manager up because managers will just go. And then so long as every bronze player sells, even if it's for 200 coins, we are guaranteed profit out of these packs. Might be slow and steady wins the race sort of situation, but I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go and farm some bronze packs, guys. Well, I say farm some. I've only got enough coins for one more. Um, and then we'll look at uh, doing some SBCs and next steps, actually. So uh, yeah, I will be right back all right guys a little bit further down the line we have completed 11 objectives i played two squad battles games to start working on the season pass uh, which does give us our first arsenal player which is going to be williamson it is only a loan but i'll take it um and we've sold a lot of items i've done a bit of bpm we're up to 900 coins now we're about to accelerate that soon i'll have the 3550 xp in one more game's time and then it's for me going to be about focusing on trying to complete the marquee matchups and all of that kind of stuff all of the big sbcs even if we could just get a couple 100k packs because it would be nice to get some uh, 100k packs that puts us up to a thousand coins but list 50 what did that give us oh an 81 by two we'll save the 81 by two i think for milestones we've listed 50 that gave us oh 1500 coins all right i'm actually going to keep these coins for now as well instead of doing BPM with them, just because I'm having to find myself buying the odd player here or there for some of the foundation SBCs. And uh, obviously, I want to have coins available for that. And then in terms of foundations, I've done three in Team of the Week warm-up. So we're getting through it. Everything that we've got left in foundations is now kind of gameplay related, apart from World Tour, which doesn't really offer too, too much. So maybe I will do some some stars though because we've already got some stars ah oh, i've missed an objective somewhere i wish it would tell you where it is like what is it that i've missed nothing there it's nothing there unless it's right at the top no so it must be in foundations no i don't i i don't know what <laughs> i don't know what i've missed um Maybe it's an error. Uh, when we look at the transfer market, as you can see, we've got um, 21 items sold now, which is brilliant. We're up to 3,000 coins, which is also brilliant. The Mexico and Chelsea kit sold. All the bronzes sold. Some badges are selling. I think one of the managers sold as well, which is quite nice. But uh, we can clear all of that off. Hello? Can we clear all of that off? There we go. Wow. This, this, some, sometimes these menus are a bit counterintuitive. Um, and it leaves us six packs in the store. Now, I don't think some of these packs are too good, but at least we've got some packs. So we've got a premium bronze pack, which is quite nice. I think I just opened the thingy there. I did. I was, I was too slow. Um, and th this, this pack glitch or pack method or whatever we're going to call it is so cool because it allows you to open those tragic packs just nice and easy, doesn't it? So we've got a premium silver pack, which is quite nice. I have opened some packs as I've gone as well. We haven't yet packed a single Arsenal player, unfortunately. Hopefully that will be coming soon. Um, we've got two rare gold. See, the club nickname pack. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, it didn't let me skip through it. That's too bad, isn't it? What do we get? Nutmegs. Go on. Go on. Um, international and something else I didn't really care about there. And then we've got a gold SFX pack. There you go. That's more like it. And then we've got, which we are going to open now, not the 81x2, because that's quite a nice pack, but the two red gold players pack we are going to open. So let's get this one in. 
That Robertson or Tierney? Oh, it's not quite an Arsenal player, guys, but it's at the very least an ex-Arsenal player. Uh, well, he's only on loan, I suppose, but hey, it's a gold left back for the boys. And Matthews Rees. So uh, there we go. Two more players that are gold in the bank. Kind of feel like we've got a squad just about good enough to potentially play that first game. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's the right thing to do. Oh, come on. Just let me in. Yes, we would like to continue to division rivals. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if it's exactly what we'd want to do because... We're still a few players short here and there. Like, I don't have a goalkeeper. I don't have a... I mean, I've got some loans and stuff. No, we're, we're, just, we're just not built. We're just not built yet. We'll wait until after 6pm content for it. And hopefully, as I say, not hopefully, but we will have some stuff. I'm actually going to go and farm moments because in moments, you can get a good amount of stars quite easily. And there's something... There's two things that are really nice in the moments gallery. The first one is this 50 star 381 plus attackers pack and the second one is this 60 star rare players pack and i believe this is tradable so there's more than 110 stars available so uh, yeah i'm actually going to go and do some of those stars that give a few other things being completed and uh we'll be back with some packs okay we have got some packs a few gold packs and premium gold packs and uh we're going to open those ones now we're going to save the other ones mind you and what we're then going to do is use what we've got to build a team and play our first rivals game. And for the end of today's video, for the new content, what is that? Uh, we will open the 80 plus by 10 for the um, bad ready promo. And then for tomorrow, we'll try and build some more packs. Obviously, what I'm desperate for here is Arsenal players, right? I want to get that first Evo in there. And that's why I decided to open these because there's a lot of gold players that are Arsenal uh, like commons and stuff, but also like French striker. Go on then. Buy it. Oh, is that like, what's that? Taram. Oh no, it's Adley, isn't it? Adley, yeah. He's not bad to be fair. Um, but Pepe is still in packs, which he just shouldn't be as an Arsenal player anyway. And so I'm excited to, you know, pick up Pepe as well and, and have him on the Evo path, even though he's not currently an Arsenal player. It'll still be good to have him. We've got England. We've got left back. We've got Leicester. Is it Cresswell? It's Justin. Yeah. An English left back, though. I've got a lot of English players, so I might put together an English team. Daddy. Um, hey, a thousand coins. We do love that. I was going to do marquee matchups and whatnot, but we're actually just building the coin balance up a little bit now. Look at that. We're up to 3,100 packs. We've now got some premium gold player packs. Come on, EA. Hook me up. CDM from Spain. Atletico Madrid. Okay. It is Koke. Hey, very nice. An 84 rated out of that 7.5k pack. Still no Arsenal player. A couple more Bundesliga and German players. Sniper and a finisher, which is nice. Koke's a, a good option as well, to be fair. It's hard to put him into the team, but he's got, other than his pace, he's got really good stats. Only two play styles as well, which is a bit sad. But it's still a nice addition. Premium gold pack number two. What do we got? Canada. Blame Canada. Wait, who the hell? Oh, I must be a woman. It is. It's Fleming. Good pace and dribbling. Good card in general, to be fair. Again, especially for day one. We've got George, Andre Gomes, Spencer, and Fleming. A Hunter Chem style. Super nice. Super duper nice. And then, uh, what is it? Two rare golds. I'm, do you know what? I'm tempted to open all of this to start our squad off and then open the other one at the end. I think I will. I'm a, we're just pack fiends, right? Oh, is that Barella? No. Ha! Fratesi. Oh, he's terrible. Come on, give me an Arsenal player, EA, please. Tadic and Dem boys. We Dem boys. We get the foot 21 football. That's quite nice. Come on. We're here for it, boys. We're here for it. Two rare gold players pack. Give me an Arsenal player. Never mind. Never mind. Belletti. Real Madrid. Oh, isn't that the second... Female Real Madrid player that we've got. That's pretty nice. We we might I think they're both French as well, actually. Maybe not. Another two red gold players pack. Spain. Lowber. Bayer Leverkusen. Grimaldo. That's another 84. That's an amazing pull. He's a very good player for this stage of FIFA. And the Spanish link with Coke is going to be really tidy. We get another Spanish La Liga player. It's a, a female centre back. 
Three defensive play styles. Not a very good card, if we're honest. Grimaldo, however, oh, that is an amazing card for us. I'm delighted with that. I'm glad we decided to uh, open these packs now, guys. We've got an 81 by 2 to end off with here. Brozovic. It is Brozovic. What's his rating? 80, oh, 83. Never mind. It doesn't really work out for us. And then Brace Mendes. Another Spanish player. La Liga is good, good player as well. All right. Let's build a team, guys. Let's put something together. I feel like Spain's actually going to be the, the nation that we've got to go with a little bit here. I've got to start using this here. It's just way quicker, isn't it? Than um, going across the top. So, what goalkeepers did I pick up? Maybe none. Andrew. Oh, that's brutal. What right backs did we pick up? Do we have any Spanish players? No. So, we will go with Justin at right back. Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not overly keen on what we've got going on here. We'll put Grimaldo in at left back. We're going to put OK in at centre mid. Who was the lady that we packed? I can't remember. Right, let's just put best options in. Brozovic, no. Halowick, no. Tadic, no. Jonathan David, no. Brace Mendes, yes. Tyranny, we can't really fit in unless Grimaldo has left mid. If Grimaldo has left mid, Tierney can uh, go in at left back, Grimaldo at left mid. So we've got Toletti. Otherwise, I don't really think we've got all that much going on. Hey, we're in for a penny and for a pound though, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll do our very best. Another Spanish La Liga player. Or maybe it was a silver for the other, the other lady. Ruben Perez we don't need. And Mecca... Maybe up front, but uh, maybe not. Right. Does Grimaldo have left mid? Yes, he does. Let's go. He can go in there at left mid. And Tyranny can go in at left back. And then... Brace Mendes can go in at centre mid. And this, this lady here, she goes in... Oh, we lose seven chemistry with her. Never mind. And we don't need her either. So who's got bad chemistry? The goalkeeper. I might actually go and buy a Spanish La Liga goalkeeper. Probably from uh, Sociedad, to be fair. Because they're so cheap right now as well, you can't really go wrong for it. If it's rare, it's going to be six or 700 coins. If it's not, we're going to be... Uh, going to be Oh, depending on who the Sociedad goalkeeper is. Oh, dear. Well, guys, if you've got the Sociedad goalkeeper, go and buy him. We're just going to have to go and get... Uh, oh, I wonder what... No, Bayer Leverkusen's is... Her, oh, isn't Hrodetsky actually only 81 rated? He might be cheap. Hold on. He might be able to get away with... No, even Hrodetsky. Yeah, 2,500 coins is too much. I'd rather just go with a Spanish La Liga goalkeeper. Doesn't even have to be a, uh, a rare. It's just about getting, like... At least reasonable chemistry on the board. This one does have to be. Sp oh, Pepe Reina's right there. Oh no, Pepe Reina's gone. I guess Spanish goalkeepers might be a bit sought after. We've got Dmitrievsky. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go for a Spanish one, not an Italian. Yes, a Spanish. We'll go with Fernando. Nice high rate in there at 878. So in terms of chemistry, other than the right mid not having too much, who else have we got? Jakobsen, but the right mid links with the Atletico Madrid Coke. So we kind of need another striker, really. So we have got, obviously, the Bundesliga, Adli and Mecca. I think they will be the, the wise choices. Oh, actually, that Butler guy... Name, yeah, Bolter. There we go. That's got Grimaldo on full chemistry. That's pretty legit, to be fair. Now, Justin in at right back doesn't have too much chemistry. Hey, if we end up just getting tanked, guys, in our first game, then so be it, all right? I'll play another one off uh, offline. But we're at 21 chemistry with that team. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's run it. Let's run it. All we need as we go into game one, is to come up against somebody with an equally poor team. 
and I'll fancy my chances. Buenos Aires FC. The Leicester badge. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Give me that bronzes, baby. Come on. Oh, it's lovely. It's liquid football, to be fair. I think he's just gone offside. He did. He just went offside. That was a nice play as well. That's too bad. Oh, the three balls there. Oh, my days. Godino. What a save, Fernando. That should have been a goal. Good save, Fernando. Here we go. Grimaldo. What a way, baby. Yes, please. As soon as I went attacking, it made all the difference. I, I think this is going to be a game where putting players forwards and having players like bombing forwards is going to be real key. Mate, these stepovers are a joke. That's it. I've got to put a bit more power on that, haven't I? Just a bit. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. A bit of keeper movement there. God damn it. Nice. Wow. What a mistake that was. I don't. He'd he done so well to just move the keeper and like stop the corner goal. And then try to like run out with his keeper, man. Oh. Oh, is this a new... Wait, how did he even do that? Is that like the, the double tap? Yeah, it is. Or oh, like that. That's a foul, no? Oh, go on then. Beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F. What was I even worried about? I actually fancy myself for this game. There's a few things I need to, like, learn, like, really learn. I, I have to, absolutely have to focus on not um, oh, not bringing my defenders out, guys. If, if I have a year this year where I keep raking my defenders out all the time, it's just going to be an awful year for me. Um, wow. However, if I could just focus on my defense this year, I feel like I'm already, like, getting the attacking. And usually... Even though I just missed a sitter there. Usually in FIFA's, learning the broken game mechanics is like one of the hardest things for me in terms of the offense. If the natural stuff doesn't just work, you know. Beautiful. One KT, baby. Ah, it's lovely. Lovely as four. Love that. Oh, love that touch. Good. Grimaldo. Oh, what a save. More than equal to it. Now we need to make sure we don't concede two goals, guys. Not that we've uh, been in danger of it, really, but... We've got Grimaldo with a banger of a free kick. Here we go. Let's bang it. The Bosch. Oh! Oh, that was mad. I wanted that one. Wow. They've scored and they silly. <laughs> okay. <sighs> mm. I just, I just definitely, definitely, definitely don't want to concede again. Which I'm going to, aren't I? Oh, she's missed. Let's go. Thank God. I want to get that. Uh, I want to get that pack. Love it. Love it. We're going to grid it. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Come on now. Oh, 5-1. Let's go. First game, first... That, I mean, 5-1 looks comfortable, but... I, you know, that person was had a terrible team, was a terrible player. Oh, we got a 5-1 win. So you can't really fault it, right? 687 coins in the bag. Love that. Our first win on the board. Love that. Working towards our foot champs. Got loads of loads of rivals to grind this week. Loads. And uh, yeah, we're up to 5,000 coins now. We are 3,200 XP, which is, of course, why we did that. Because what we now have, as we view objectives, is all of this. We still need 200 there, but I think we've actually got it. Yeah, so once we claim the FC founder, we're actually going to go up to level 6. What else did we do? Weekly objectives, assist six. So that's even more XP. That's lovely. Milestones, I'm sure we've done something. So stadium mastery, nobody genuinely cares about. 
Nothing else there. Foundations. Play a rivals match. How about that? That's another one done. Another one bites the dust. Anything else? No. So for season progress, guys. We've got a 78 times 2 player pack. We're going to open these ones now as well. Like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to be saving this here. The 80 by 10 is what we're going to end with for today when the brand new promo is live. Uh, we have got a, was that, a gold pack, a premium gold pack. Quite nice. And the loyalty TIFO, which is quite nice. And then a player pick. And uh, of course, we have to open this now after we claim it. And so we will. Let's see what we get. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? Let's go, baby. Not only is it our first Arsenal player, it's a big one too. It's Gabriel. Let's go. Oh, that's an amazing card to get. Damn, he's so cheap. He's 3K. I'm gassed over a 3K card. And that's the thing about the first owner thing, right? Because this is first... If this wasn't first owner, I could go and buy all the Arsenal cards now and get like basically like most of the setup. This Gabriel is a good card. He's not eligible for any Evos at the moment, but he's 6'3". Passing's all right. Dribbling's real nice. Defending and physical's real nice. That is a really, really nice addition to the team. And then we're going to go and see what's sold. What's sold? Oh, love it. Badges selling. Love it. Absolutely love it. We're going to clear those sold items. Oh, no, hold on. It's the wrong button. My bad. And then we're going to go and relist the, the things that didn't sell. Yeah, see, it doesn't look like contracts are selling. I did. I had a feeling contracts wouldn't be the one. But we've now got 5.5k to work with, which is really nice. And we've got four packs. The Club Anthem pack. I'm obviously, as I say, well, well you, you guys won't even notice a pause. It'll just be straight into the uh, 80 by 10. But we've got the premium gold pack here, guys. Give me another Arsenal player. Come on, let's go. French centre mid. Oh, is that going to be another ex-Arsenal player or is it going to be Kapue? Ocolais, another ex-Arsenal player. Um, Arango and Anton. And then not a lot else outside of that. And then a 78 by 2. Now, these ones could be fun. You know, guaranteed 78 plus. Italiano, left wing back. I don't know who that's going to be. Roma. Shante. Spinazzola. Ooh, 91 pace. I mean, we've already got Grimaldo for left back, so it doesn't really matter. And then... Zubel Dia. He's a reasonable card, you know. All right, nice. So we are we are building, guys. We are building. But I'm going to be right back for the 80 plus by 10. All right, guys, to end today's first episode of the RTG. First of all, welcome back, of course, and thanks for being here. The Nike Mad Ready promo is here. We're going to have to find a way to buy a Mad Ready player if we don't pack one. Um, we have got lots of items sold, which is fantastic. And uh, the Bronze Pack Method has got us up to 7,700 coins now, which is really nice. I think some stuff still isn't selling. But uh, I'm going to keep farming the BPM because we've also got that flashback De Bruyne SBC. And I want it. I want it straight away. I want it as quick as possible in our team. We've got three packs in store. I know of one. Oh, the... Oh, oh, the pre-order pack, I forgot. Contains a lone Nike Mad Ready player, and that's how we're going to get Mad Ready. A Nike EASFC home kit and an untradeable Team of the Week player. Let's go. Who's it going to be? Who's our Mad Ready player going to be? Who's our lone player going to be, of course, because that's all it is. That kit's all right. It's all right. I don't mind it. Who are we going to have? We've got Chiesa and Carlinhos for an SBC. The kit is nice. 24 games on Chiesa. Four star, four star. That's a nice card. Great pace. Very nice dribbling. Good passing. Real good shooting. He's got rapid play style plus. Can play left wing as well. Nice. So we're going to go and get our 20 games and, and 20, uh, 10 wins with him to get some more packs for tomorrow. And then we've got the 80 plus by 10 to end off for today. Hook me up with a map. Oh, it, it bugs out. It bugs out. We can't actually watch it open. It did this before as well. But let's see what we get. Ooh. Whilst it's not ideal, Verlon Mendy is banging. Four star, five star. Great pace. Great physicals. 
good defending, dribbling and passing. I think a backbone for him, some ball control and defensive play styles. What's his value? Wow. I did not expect him to be that many coins. That is an insane pack pool to kick things off for our episodes, man. We've got Kramaric Leroux, Jonathan Klaus, who we can actually play at right back as well. We've got Oli Watkins in there. Lopez, Mario Goetze, and Zielinski, who's a half-decent player. I did not... I thought he'd be like 10k. I can't even lie. I didn't think he'd be like as, as expensive as he is. We've... Listen, I know he's not 83 rated anymore, but that is incredible. Guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.